We strongly oppose this bill as currently written. It, it's nothing personal. Um, we just have some grave concerns from law enforcement. Sally Foster of the South Carolina Sheriff's Association speaking to a Senate subcommittee Wednesday about her opposition to a plan being considered by the panel. The proposal would allow people to have their record expunged if they pled guilty to unlawful gun carry charges two days before or after the state's new constitutional carry law went into effect. It also gives us great pause because currently um, this bill as written doesn't allow law enforcement and um, prosecutors um, to go and look at every single case and evaluate the merits of the case to then make a decision. This is a what I call it a cleanup bill from uh, when we passed uh, constitutional carry. Senator Dion Zetter is backing the plan. He says language in the original constitutional carry law prevents the expungement of some people's illegal carry convictions. The easy example I use is if person A and B are charged with unlawful carry and just having a gun in the wrong place prior to the signing of the bill, Person A pled guilty two days before the governor signed it. Person B pled guilty two days after just because that was the scheduling of the court. Person B can't, um, will not be afforded that expungement because of the way we worded it. So proposal also addresses any charges that came after a stop that began with the probable cause of a gun being illegally displayed. If the unlawful carrying charge that is now nullified was the probable cause for subsequent charges, i.e. they found other things after that, um, those charges should not be dismissed. So, To stay up to date with this story and more, make sure you subscribe to our Watchbox YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you never miss an update.